Good morning, church. Uh, praise the Lord. Uh, I just want to give glory and all praise to our living God uh, for this day today. And uh, I just want to thank God that he has chosen us. That we are the child of the Most High God. Amen? We are so blessed to be the children of the Most High God. Hallelujah. I praise God and I just want to say Happy Mother's Day to all our ladies in house today. And um, I thank God that God has given me this opportunity to stand here and share the word today. And I would like to also thank Pastor Conan and Sister Bui for allowing me to stand here today. All praises to God once again. Uh, as I'm going to speak on the book of Esther this morning. Firstly, I would like to uh, give a little summary of the uh, book of Esther. Esther's beauty and character won Zezer's heart, and he made her his queen. Even in her favorite position, however, she would risk her life by attempting to see the king when he had not requested her presence. Although she was queen, she was still not secure. But cautiously and courageously, Esther decided to approach the king on behalf of her people. She asked the Jewish to fast and pray with her before she went to the king. Esther invited Zezus and Haman for a banquet. King Zezus was smart enough to realize she had something on her mind. On the second banquet, Esther told the king of Haman's plot, his plan of destroying the Jewish. And Haman was destroyed on the same impaling pole he had set up. Our theme for today is Timing is everything. And uh, as I am talking on the book of Esther, uh, let's see the attributes of Esther. Esther, being raised at Mordecai's home, had taught her humility, kindness, and quiet strength. She reflected respect, honor, and a humble heart. Esther had wisdom and she never abused her authority. She loved God. Her faith was strong. She displayed courage. Esther understood unity. She was obedient. She was also very beautiful. She is known for saving her people from people, the Jewish, from being killed. Her strength came from her willingness to listen and learn. So church, are we willing to listen and learn today? And are we ready to have a mentor in our life? Hallelujah. Kya hum aaj ek salakar ko apne jeevan mein chahate hain? Kya aaj hum ichha rakhte hain ki hum sun kar sikhe? Aaj hum dekhte hain Queen Esther कि कितना वो आ, कितना मजबूती कितना ताकतवर थी और कितना परमेश्वर को अपने जीवन में वो चाहती थी और उसी तरह से उसने परमेश्वर को अपने सबसे पहले स्थान को दिया और आज हम सब मिलकर आज क्वीन एस्था की तरह बनना कोशिश करेंगे आज हम सब वही इच्छा रखेंगे जो क्वीन एस्था ने आज हमें दिखाया है शी कंटिन्यू टू डू एस मोदिकाई एडवाइज we need a mentor in our life too, one who can help us to take right decisions, one who shows godly ways, one who teaches us wisdom. And believe me, it really helps. I have a mentor in my life, and I would like to share and introduce her to you. And she is Sister Sharon. She is the answer of my prayer. Hallelujah. I thank God. When I was in 
uh, chosen to be in mission team as I was at home. And uh, I was always praying to God that God, use me as you want me to be. I want to be used by you. I want to be your vessel. And I was just praying and I, I didn't know that God will let me be here one day. I, I never hoped for this. I just allowed God to use me wherever, whatever purpose you have for me. And as I was praying uh, for a godly woman, God sent Sister Sharon in my life. And I was called to be with them in the mission team. And I, I really enjoy walking with her. She is, she is a good friend of mine. She is the best sister I have received from God. I never miss my siblings. I don't have anyone. I don't have a brother and sister. But God has gave me a mighty sister, a mighty woman of God in my life. And I have so many brothers and sisters here today. And I praise God that each and every one are encouraging me. Everyone is standing for me. Whatever come across, whatever situation, I have my dear brothers and sisters standing for me. They are praying for me and they encourage me. And I'm uplifted with the, the words they share. I thank God. I learn a lot from Sister Sharon. I observe her. I see her life. I see how much she loves God. Her time with God. Her time for others. Her time for her God, godly works. I see a humble heart. And that's what we need today. She always teaches me good things which I really like. And I do listen and learn from her. When we have a good friend, a good sister, they always teach us good things. We always, and they are always standing for us in need. Whenever we have a need, when we, whenever we have a prayer request, she is always there for me. She is always backing me up. So I would like to encourage us all to have a mentor in our life. And a good one. <laughs> Amen? A good mentor who can teach us good things and lead us to godly ways. Not a bad one. I'm sorry to say, but there are some who will try to pull us down and lead us to wrong ways. So we have to see whom we're going to choose today. Our Bible reading is taken from book of Esther, chapter 4, verses 13 to 17. It reads, Mordecai sent this reply to Esther, Don't think for a moment that because you are in the palace, you will escape when all other Jewish are killed. If you keep quiet at this time like this, deliverance and relief for the Jewish will arise from some other place. But you and your relatives will die. Who knows if perhaps you were made queen for just such a time as this. Then Esther sent this reply to Mordecai. Go and gather together all the Jewish of Susa and fast for me. Do not eat or drink for three days, night or day. My mates and I will do the same. And then though it is against the law, I will go in to see the king. If I must die, I must die. So Mordecai went away and did everything as Esther had ordered him. Here we see that uh, Mordecai sends uh, uh, a word, a warning to Queen Esther about her people, the Jewish, that uh, Haman is uh, planning something against them. And uh, also, Mordecai is warning Queen Esther, uh, if she will be quiet, she can be killed with her people. And he is also saying that if she doesn't step out, if she doesn't speak, there will be someone else standing there. As Mordecai knew that, however, God is always going to save his people. But we see that uh, Queen Esther 
was chosen for this day for this purpose as god has a plan and a purpose in our life god also had a purpose in queen esther's life and queen esther asked her people to stand with her to fast and pray to seek god as we all know that the first thing we should do in life is to seek god amen seek ye first the kingdom of god matthew 6:33 and everything will follow us all the blessing will come after us we don't have to run after the blessing we have to run after god and the blessing will run after us and she take uh, and she stood up and she was not afraid and courageously she stood up and she made a move the implication is that she has come to her position not by luck or fate but by the will of an unseen actor amen esther has come to her royal position because the good hand of god was upon her so the good hand of god is upon us all today and i would like to encourage each and every one when we have an opportunity when we are given opportunity we shouldn't back up hallelujah we should stand up why because the good hand of god is upon us we treasure security even though we know that possessions can be destroyed beauty fades relationships can be broken and death is to come only when our security rests on god and his unchanging nature we can face life's challenges queen esther put god first she fast before entering king's chamber this challenges us to ponder how god might be at work in ways we do not recognize even when god seems absent we must remember that he is always with us hallelujah so are we prepared for god to give the opportunity which we were dreaming of or which god has for us today would we say god i am not ready would you come back later or else you someone else instead of feeling if we put a system a process and action let's move on by trusting god by fasting and praying letting god's spirit to work in us use us for his glory putting our faith in god's ability will allow his peace to assure us that now is the right time to press forward to the path god has called us today we see that timing is everything here esther live in the king's palace for so many years but no one really knew who she was her identity was hidden there was a secret so mordecai said to her if you do not step out if you do not speak someone else will come in save so if we are given an opportunity today if we do not move up if we do not step out we will lose it and there will be someone else standing instead of us this we here we see that this was all god set up that esther will save her people mordecai also said but don't forget who you are where you came from don't forget who you are in the palace so are we going to forget who we are today we are the child of the most high god uses ordinary people for extraordinary things 
God opportunity will always allow us to move. Walk by faith, not by sight. God opportunity is risky at first, but when we wait and depend on God, we can make a move as Esther did. Before Esther made a move, she waited upon the Lord for God's peace. Amen? If we get opportunity, we just can't move by ourselves. We can't just stand up there without allowing the Spirit of God in us. We need the peace of God to come. We need the assurance that yes, we can stand up for our God. We need the courage like Esther today. We must wait upon the Holy Spirit of God to have the peace from God. It's high time for us to see how we're we spending our time today. What are the things we are doing? Is it pleasing God? Is it right in the sight of the Lord? It's not easy to get to the place where we can say like Esther, if I perish, I perish. Esther needed to fast for three days and know that her people were backing her up. She needed to sense herself lovingly and connected to a community of faith. Sisters in house, we also need each other who can stand with us. By fast and prayer, we need faith like Esther. Also understand unity as we can see that our sisters are doing that. And I praise God for the sisters in house who understand unity. We should submit to God as Esther did. Together we can be a woman who can make a difference. Only thing we need is to trust God, put God first and move as, as it is God's timing. Esther's risk confirmed that God was the, was the source of her security. God has not put you and I in our present position for our own benefit. He puts you and I there to serve Him. And this may involve risking our security. Are we willing to let God be our ultimate security? Kya hum parmeshwar ko apna suraksha karne ke liye dena chahenge aaj? So everyone in house, let's be a person who fears the Lord. One who listened to the voice of God. Let's make a move. Let's ask Jesus, will you let me see in me what I am inside of me as you see me? Jesus, will you make me a person you want me to be? As we come to the end, we see that serving God often demands that we risk our own security. But the hand of God will always be there when we trust and allow God to control. We must be ready at all times to go do God's will when He directs us. The main need of church today is not men and women of money, not men and women of brains, but men and women of prayer. Hallelujah. Because prayer does work, church. I'm so blessed that I am a child of God. And I'm so blessed today that God has used me in a mighty way. And I praise God for allowing me to do His work. And I want God to use me in a mighty way, wherever He wants me to use. And I encourage all of my sisters today. Be courageous like Esther. Stand up. Make a move. Nothing is impossible when God's hand is upon us. I thank God for my family. 
as I have seen how prayer works. My dad is sitting here in front of us today. And this is the first time for him to be here in, in church. In church, first time. He was an idol worshiper and he left everything because the good head of God was upon my family. This is the answer to my prayer. I didn't force him to accept Christ. I just prayed for them. And this is the time. So timing is everything. It won't just come up like this, not on our time, but God's time. And to thank God, and I praise him, and I love my God. <laughs> Let's give a big hand of praise to our Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, this is what I have for you all today. It was uh, mostly uh, just a short word of encouragement. Thank you.